You know what time it is. <laughs> yeah, it's that time. Anyways, I hope you're enjoying your San Diego September sunsets and polar plunges. But I wanted to take this moment to share a special story with you. And it's about the power of prayer. I might have to speak over some of those cars. I'm kind of under a bridge right now. I'm like the bridge man. But anyways, get the story. So I'm watching this movie from Bethel Ministry, Supernatural Ministry, called Holy Ghost. And um, a lot of it's about basically that the spirit of fear is not a spirit of God. And that how sometimes we have to face those fears to really figure out what's speaking to us. What's the difference between the voice in our head and the Holy Spirit that lives within us. And I just thought that was, uh, I, it had me thinking a lot about actually a previous prayer that I did with one of my friends while I was at his house. I was just praying over the food sometimes like I, I like to do. Um, and he genuinely thanked me afterwards. He was uh, just so thankful and grateful and felt really touched and moved. And he was just like, he wanted to share something with me. He's like, man, I, I want to share something with you that uh, I've been feeling a pull towards Jesus lately. And all of a sudden, here you are at my house. It was kind of random how I ended up. He's like, here you are at my house praying, uh, praying with me. And he just genuinely wanted to thank me for that. So uh, while I'm watching this movie, I'm pretty scantily clad. Well, I thought I saw something in the water. <laughs> and I'm just uh, in my place, stretching, uh, just with a pair of boxers, barefoot. And um, <laughs> uh, sure enough, I started thinking about that moment. I was like, while I was watching, I was like, man, maybe I, I, I think this was subconscious at this point. But I was thinking about like at that time I prayed for him, and now I should probably pray for him again. Hold on before I get swept up. And um, sure enough, as I'm sitting there kind of in the squat position, I see a man walking by with his dog and the headphones in. And sure enough, it was him. And I was like, oh, this, this is a synchronicity I can't really ignore. So um, sure, I went out there. He had already gone by pretty far at this moment because I kind of hesitated in that moment before that one second of courage or two seconds. All it takes is one second to be courageous. But that moment, he uh, took me about 10 seconds especially the way I dressed. He got down the street, and he was kind of far away, so I started hollering, he didn't hear me. Here I am in the boxers in my street hollering, and I started whistling, because I thought the dog might hear that. Sure enough, the dog noticed me, so he noticed his dog noticing me, and we got to talking. And I was, before I can even come up with the story of how I kind of wanted to pray for him and tell him the story, he tells me about some friends that are down the street having an intention circle. And I'm like, he's like, but uh, are you going to go to that? He asked me. And I was like, I don't know, are you? He's like, well, I'm kind of conflicted because I kind of invited some friends over to watch a movie tonight. And I was like, oh yeah, what movie? Holy Ghost, the movie I was currently watching. And I told him the story. And he, he went on to actually explain that when he walked by my house, he felt a real pulling to my house. But he thought I was going to be having sex with my wife or something. <laughs> so he didn't go by. Um, but at that point, I was like, man, I have to pray for you now. The tide's getting so high. I'm hoping my sandals don't wash away. Excuse my uh, distractibility. And so we ended up praying. He had actually become, uh, he got baptized a couple weeks ago. And this is, um, and then I tell Nathaniel the story. And Nathaniel tells me that the night before, him and my mom were praying about my doubts about religion to tangibly be able to feel the presence of God night later this happens um wow oh my goodness do y'all see that sky whoa whoa this happening right now and then sure enough that uh the website where i was watching that movie holy ghost from the same movie that dane was inviting friends over to watch tonight yeah yeah that whole story uh there's a girl that's one of our ambassadors who goes to that school of ministry and uh when i got back she had just commented on a photo epic I don't think that comment was by accident. I don't think any of that was by accident. Expect big things, people, so you can create them. Co-create them with the power of God. The power of prayer really works. Last time after I put that photo up with my uh, grandma, uh, apparently about four hours after that, she miraculously had a turnaround. She was that night, I think, singing. Timothy had called me earlier that day telling me he thought it was gonna be the last time but he saw Mima alive. Four hours after that prayer photo, asking for all those requests, 
that happened. I don't think that was by accident. I want to thank you all who put together and sent that positive energy and prayed for my grandma because it worked. And I encourage you guys to, especially you people that follow Jesus and has been saved by Jesus, to go out there and pray for people. Ask people if they can pray for you. Who, who wouldn't want to be prayed for? I want you to pray for me. If you're watching this video, please continue to pray for us and the Rob Ross and myself. And uh, let me know if you want some prayers. Because I really think when you put in t good intention by, behind it, and you really mean it from your heart, that the power of prayer is the real deal. Uh, comment below, let me know what you think, and uh, enjoy that view. I hope you could hear what I said. Oh yeah, and how can I forget a funny little rhyme? If you believe in the power of prayer, feel free to share this video. Only if you want to, only if you're driven by love, not obligation. Don't put any fear or guilt or shame or should on yourself that you should do anything. Come from a place of passion and obligation. Passion over what's practical. Passion over practicality, baby. How much has being practical cost you? How much is making money cost you? How much is saving money cost you? Meditate on those questions tonight in your prayer. Um, pr I've heard an awesome idea that prayer is speaking to God and meditation is listening to God. So that was my reminder to start meditating more. Peace.